Welcome back to another disappointing Dwarf Fortress uh, video, and yet it will be unforgettable in some way. We've been doing a lot of experiments here, and I'm just continuing to struggle through. You know, I thought we would be doing better in this series, but we're really not. Um, uh, we have a lot of ideas. We're going to puzzle them out. And it's also kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit greedy with the rest of this series, because s things didn't really go as well as I envisioned they would. <laughs> So I'm just sort of, like, learning more of the game. And I think that's a perfectly good place to be. Um, but I will kind of shorten this and then index the VOD so that you can at least see what's going on. We just spent a lot of time before stream creating this experiment. I think a lot of people have died, but I've just used their deaths in order to learn more about the game. Yes, we will allow entertainment of citizens. Basically, the issue we were having was this. We were trying to dam this river. Um, which, oh my gosh, it's actually dried up here, totally. We did succeed at our task, then. Unfortunately, all of the dwarves are just kind of swimming around in the puddles, but we are now putting the water back. Um, so what we did was this. Remember how we were having that issue that we had this part of the... Well, now it's all kind of dried up, but we had all of the moat around our fort that was just sort of like a big puddle, or people could wade through it. And we wanted people to drown if they got near our fort. This was just very basic in constructing a moat. So we tried damming it, which we could do with magma and all these other various ways, but we can't really just scoop dirt off of the ground. I thought we could do it in a similar way to Minecraft, but we had tried building a bridge and then destroying it, and that didn't really work out because then just the resources go out on the ground. Um, we were going to try to do a pump, but honestly, the, f the easier way to do it without having to resort to water wheels and powering stuff uh, just seems to be, let's just dig a downward channel that's very wide and put floodgates around it. And then let's just let the water flow through and off the edge of the map. Um, oh, we have an apricot wood crutch, which has been claimed as a family heirloom. That sounds some very useless. Um, oh no, all the fish are going down here. Well, we could just use this to capture fish, I suppose. Unless they could flow through the fortification, which they very well might be able to, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is all flowing off the edge of the river. We tried to here, but we couldn't get enough water pressure going to really get a, a smooth boy flow. But now I'm thinking, like, we had a chance to build another wall over here, so hopefully this easing of the water pressure, or actually a raising of the water pressure in these areas, but we took the water from just this huge flow off the waterfall. It should still mist our dwarves in the tavern, which was part of the point of this fortress to begin with. Yes, there is mist being sprayed over there, which is quite nice. Uh, but at the same time, that's also going to give us... Well, hopefully that will fill up the mode and do all of the things I wanted to. Anyway, I know we've really stumbled and struggled through this, but it was very neat just getting to do some types of water experiments. And I think water is one of the most interesting facets of this game. So I'm very happy to do that whenever it happens uh, or whenever the opportunity arises. So we are filling this back up with water. Just If I were to start back from the very beginning, I would have done this in a totally different way to make it easier on myself. I didn't really understand brooks. I understand a lot more about water than I did when I began, though. All that being said, uh, I've got some good tips on YouTube, but um, how are we get, uh, getting rid of the water on the bottle? Just drain it to lava. Oh, uh, no, on the other end of the... Uh, also, we're streaming this, so there's a lot of folks here uh, who haven't really seen the whole fort. But yeah, uh, this waterfall flows off the edge of the map and to other places. We don't really know where. But, um, I mean, that's kind of the long and short of it, is we were doing a lot of water control. I wanted to be able to construct something that was kind of cool. Um, so we did it. It usually involves a lot of engineering and it's kind of neat. And also, I didn't know that you could link multiple devices to one lever. So this one lever, le lever is linked up to all of these floodgates. Except for this one, which for some reason... Oh, wait a minute. No. No, they are all linked to it. We could open that up anytime. But the interesting part about this is that we're now basically able to just drain the river anytime we want to. Which is quite cool. I mean, we... Probably shouldn't leave those out there because then crazy people and enemies could just be like, we're just going to turn off your moat. But, I mean, this is, again, kind of a learning for it, so might as well. And we're just kind of waiting to see if this water pressure uh, works here. Now, the reason why this works and the reason why it's taken the river so long to fill back up onto itself is because of horizontal and vertical water pressure, if I'm not mistaken. So as soon as we save the world information... Which now there is quite a lot of information in the world to be saved. Um, basically all of this water, except for on this one tile, is flowing horizontally along here. So 
we made it so that all these staircases are downward flows and basically the water like if it can flow vertically it will first and then it says okay now i need to spread out on the surface area horizontally at least that's how i think the code for the water is more or less written though i am somewhat of an ignoramus so take that with a grain of salt um i think that's more or less the the long and short of it this water is drying up and it's this is basically one big puddle in this cavern and it's flowing off the edge of the map or just evaporating um good this is now full again look at all the happy fish uh and here we go and now it looks like hey we did it oh my gosh that took like four hours to figure out how to do that but you know what we learned we learned and now look the logs are being driven off the edge of the oh that's so interesting we could get water wheels here too if we wanted to power them but um yeah all of this water has a very strong flow and it's very I'm not sure pressurized is the right word, but yeah, we've got a seven. Ooh, look at it like flowing around with cellular automata. That is so interesting. Ah, oh, what is that in the river? Wait, what the hell is that? I've been told that giant birds are going to kill us all. And I'm pretty sure that somebody else died and is now haunting us and I ignored it. Uh, I have to remember who it was though. Whatever, a great time. But, you know, I learned to essentially dam a river. The thing is that it would be nice if you could just dump dirt in a river because I have to resort to all of these machines to do it. But you usually learn like tw 12 or 15 ways of doing something badly before you learn the right way of doing it. So I figure we're probably just crossing more of those bridges. Anyway, um, and there's also a duck that's just been flying here for the last 25 minutes. That is, it is... L Laminar flow. Is that what they call it? Yeah, 12 or 15. I'm, I just like to give exact numbers so that people... So that it sounds more like I know what I'm talking about. I really do, have no idea what I'm talking about. I inherited the position of uh, Count of Distinct... Distinct Rock. All right. Well, whatever. You do you. Uh, I do want to make the fortress look not as awful as it did before. Do we have stone blocks being created? We're on about our fifth or sixth manager, because most of them have just died, but we seem to be maintaining a healthy population, so I'm okay with this. Um, this is the one of the few screens that I just really can't stand, admittedly, in the game, because it's just so hard. There's not even a search function or a move-to-top function. Um stone yeah there we go rock blocks so they are working on that and good good enough they're making a bunch every day um limestone block floor i think we will do more of this as we keep going on throughout our fort so we'll go to constructions floor um now we do have to sort of oddly do this can we just do this area building present because under one of these there's like a hang on a second it's so hard to see what's the floor there, but if it's blocked by another floor, then it won't allow it. So, B, N, N uh, whatever the letter was that I just pressed. Ah, limestone blocks. There are many of them. Okay, good. That is helpful UI now. And now it goes to the bottom because we don't have as many of them right. Am I right about that or did I just totally mess it up there? Limestone. Clocks, not clocks, blocks. Wait a second, what? What the? Ah, ah, that's so nice. Look at all of the dwarves who don't know what to do. Uh, B, N, F. Where, where, why didn't I see this before? Yeah, limestone blocks, but there it is right there. But when I type in limestone, am I going mad? I must be. Oh, it designates a stockpile? A stockpile isn't really a building, though. That's kind of quirky and odd. Oh, no, we've covered the top of the stairs with the... Hang on a second, this will never do. Take that away. Wait, no, no floor there, please. Okay, good. There we go. Yes, we can access that again. I don't need to make them do so many blocks at once. You can do one block daily. The dwarves won't be working forever and be able to socialize, pray, etc. Um... I haven't really figured out the amounts, and I'm more worried about running out of materials, and people just seem to go crazy, and then they'd kind of replace themselves. Though you're right. 
But why only one block daily? We have so many stones, and I really do need the limestone blocks, don't I? It's like kind of all these marginal decisions. I don't really have any common sense is what I'm trying to say. I have no real idea of what's going on around me. I have an idea sort of of how things are supposed to happen. I mean, this is in real life as well as in the game. <laughs> like, I know that I'm supposed to do certain things every day, but how much of them I should do? <laughs> like, <laughs> eat breakfast 20 or 40 times in the morning? <laughs> You know, sometimes you just got to go with your gut feeling. Uh, whatever. <laughs> you live your life. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help me. Um, what do we have? Uh, bars and blocks, though we said just just blocks, right? Yeah, just blocks. Okay, I'm going to undesignate that if this is a word. No more of this. No more of this. B? It's a little crazy, it Hilarious. seems like. That I... Great work. Uh, hilarious. Limestone blocks. I don't really feel like there's any... Wait, this is... I don't think this is funny at all. I'm dead serious about the breakfast thing, Jester. Thank you very much for the sub. Do appreciate that. A very nice icon you have next to your name there. Why did you get that? I want that. Owl online. You have access to all of the owls online? In, well, only in the year of 2018. I'd like... I wish I the owls would have let me access them. Look at an existing stockpile. To, okay, there we are. We can't do it when there's a construction on that? That's cray. Or am I just messing up royally again? Like, if I have a say, stockpile here, yeah, it's fine. But then if I stay... Well, I didn't designate anything for it. But what about here? Like, oh, that's kind of crazy, though. Like, since they're constructing it, they aren't allowed to just do it. All right, what, whatever. So be it. Do they know that it's there? Despite Yeah, they do know that it's there, despite the fact that it's not a stockpile, right? I think they do. Otherwise, how will they ever get these limestone blocks back? Oh, no. What should... <sighs> A second. Do I need to? I I don't need to cancel all of these individually, right? No, I don't. We do. We've been through this. We've been through this. Okay, now they're getting the P. Except, just put anything in there for now. They are a little bit picky here. Like it. Like I said, it's kind of like computer programming. At times, playing this game. Uh, no, we don't want none. Let's just say all. Whatever. Fine. Just. Leave the things that are already in there. Just build, though, my friends. Or, no, let's just do it. Stop being lazy and just do it. Here we go. Um, blocks. Bars, blocks. All the blocks. Oops, not all that. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Okay, now we have it basically bat. set back up as what we want. I, I don't really know why they're not doing these things. Have they? They haven't been suspended... They were so productive a few minutes ago, but now they aren't doing anything. Entertaining, allow, allow, allow. Hmm. Okay, well, we've diverted the river. Um, other things on my ta- <laughs> It's so stressful. At times it is stressful, admittedly. W what is in our stocks, though? Mm, blocks. Yeah, they've got a lot of them. They should be building those. Why? Well, let's look at our task list. Hmm, tasks. Gathering... Oh, because they're all just basically busy gathering plants. Hmm, I wonder why they... Why ever would they be doing that? So much of that. This is a zone, right? Though This is a plant gathering zone. Uh, you know, maybe that was a bit too much plant gathering that I had assigned. Admittedly. Stop gathering the plants. Stop that. I don't like that. It basically just reprioritized everyone on that. Let's have, like, a little fruit gathering zone. But maybe only that big. That was way too much. Okay, good. They're picking the things up off of the ground there. I think most of these people are still engaged in, like, the gaiety of gathering 
um, fruits and, and other things for their home and, and other areas. But we have so much food and so many drinks, we just need the top of this thing finished for my uh, kind of obsessive need for everything to look just a certain way. All right, what other tasks have we got, though? This one has not been suspended. Have any of these... Yeah, some of them are just randomly getting suspended. It, it is a bit crazy like that. Like, who knows why? And they don't really recontinue themselves. This is a thing that happens in this game, and it, it would be nice if we just had a little bit of an S icon or something like that over where something has been suspended. Just to see, because otherwise you have to keep opening up this sub-menu, which isn't really very intuitive, in my opinion. But yeah. Um, I mean, I believe it's because we don't have the material, right? But yet, we just opened up a menu and it told us that we had the material, so... Um, is that... Well, whatever it is. Hey, Kara, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, the turtle shells, I was thinking that these things would just rot and deteriorate, but apparently they don't. So they've just kind of been there forever in the field, in the pasture. And it is becoming kind of an eyesore. I'm just going to keep making it larger because it looks like we'll need space for more of them. Um, oh, and the cancellation log, there is that. I guess we could do that. Well... Anyway, the next thing that I really wanted to do, uh, we attracted no migrants, but we still have plenty of people right now. Made a lot of marble blocks. Um, just keep making bigger dumps. Honestly, fair. <laughs> Although that's how they got the garbage pile in the Pacific, I suppose, right? They are really spending a lot of time over here. What is everyone doing? Gathering plants? Are they all getting up on, like, step ladders and getting into the tree and gathering fruit from it. In which case, this must be why we have so much food, and that they're just gathering it all from the wilderness. Yeah, there we go. There's a, an actual stepladder right there. Oh no, it seems that some... Uh, it's hard to say, really. What do you have in your inventory? They don't seem to have them. They seem to be around... Yeah, there was one right there. They put it down. I guess if they're next to it, they must be using it or something like that. They're moving around this stepladder here. It looks like he just picked it up. Who are you? It's interesting to watch them go about their tasks, though. You do learn a lot from it. Gathering plants. Interesting. It's cool. cool. Oh, he's actually up in the branches of the tree right now. He's one level above the other dwarves. That's so cool. Look, he's, like, slightly above them. Wow, he's climbing through the tree. Oh, my gosh. He's overcoming the limitations of his short stature with an ingenious invention. Wow. Dwarves are amazing. Oh, what is happening now? There's a fight. Hang on a second. Is this somebody else falling down the waterfall? Okay, no, this brings us to the first problem of today. There's a giant bat coming into our fort, so I was told that we should probably be making some cage traps around, and we did figure this out the last time. I was just putting a few of them around because we had a giant toad and stuff like that. Is the hospital full as well? I mean, we're just going to continue to struggle. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. There's a huge bat over there, but overcome by terror because Tetha Putialat uh, is coming down to slay it. That's what I hope to... When I'm 34, I hope that I can slay more giant bats. Look at this huge bat. Pile, the bat threw up. Oh my gosh, and its teeth are falling out. This is so... There are moments when Dwarf Fortress's art is just so crazy. I mean, I know it's mostly symbolic to see what's happening, but you can see the blood pewing out. And... My god, this guy has really been working on this bat! It's just... <laughs> it's like if they didn't stop a play in football after somebody got really... Look, the bat is still just down there. The bat is speeding up! It's like the WWE. That's so much bat vomit. We've got the badger boar. Who was fighting a badger boar as well? Or was that occurring? Okay, this is up above. Yeah, you see the animals. Someone told me that the animals are going to get more aggressive. And I was like, that's ridiculous. The animals can't get more aggressive. But clearly they have. <laughs> they've been getting a lot more aggressive. So let's go ahead and put down. Oh, great. They've done the floors now. We'll just resume the construction on these ones. I do believe that we have to... Do we have to go individually into every single one of these logs? Or can we, um... Is there some way that we could just click and drag over all of them? Because so far, I have not seen it. 
But now this looks a lot better. I mean, we could tasks, tasks. Hmm. Not work order. Yeah, that's work orders. Uh, can we sort by what has been suspended? Store item in stockpile. Store item in bin. It just feels like a lot of scrolling. Construct. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, here it is. So the floor. So we can do this. Can we click and drag? No, we can't click and drag. But that works. A few little things like... Oh, whoops. I accidentally forgot to... Well, no, I didn't forget. I just didn't do it. You know, do all of this. I don't think we need those floor grades, though, from before. And yes, keep making the coffins. It's good that you can get that all in one place. So thank you very much for that. Uh, cleaning just kind of occurs of the dwarves' own volition, I do believe. Um, it's not really up to us. I'm just surprised, though, that we can't construct a floor... Like, where we have a stockpile. That seems kind of odd. But whatever. Okay. I'll live with it. Um, B. N. F. There we are. Whoops. I put it in the wrong one. There we go. And totally reopen the menu. There we go. And we'll make that out of limestone blocks. So now this is almost fully complete with limestone blocks. Limestone blocks. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so now this thing won't look so extremely hideous as it did before. All right, now we need to do some. We need to find something else to do with our time because we have quite a lot of it. Because no one's really attacking us, but we are getting a lot more giant animals. Uh, somebody starved death. We are going to just continue ignoring a lot of things that we probably shouldn't be ignoring. Um, oily cover. Though maybe some of those canceled work. Yeah. So what are they canceling? All right, so this was another one that I wanted to do. So I've been told that steel is really the best um, material material for most things. So I was thinking, well, after we do just a little bit more here, I think I do want one stockpile for furniture. Let's spend a little bit of time just organizing some of this stuff. Just for the sake of visuals here. And we will just say, put all of the furniture in here. Um, and then we'll go back to our all stockpile and say, you know, no more furniture. Uh, where's the furniture? There we go. Furniture starts with the letter F. That's what we learned in school today. Um, what else do we need? Let's keep making more stockpiles for other things. Maybe one for like bins and stuff. What is this? Limestone. There's finished goods in here. Uh, P. Good. Look at how nice it is when they start to put stuff in there. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> Excuse me. That's free real estate. Um, um, hmm. You can come in, the warm diamonds. So, unused plant cloth. We do need the plant cloth. This is true. Well, we're going to cross this bridge when we come to it. More people are dying. Um, well, no, animals are dying, which animals don't matter. Oh, no, maybe this is because... Oh, we forgot to redesignate them in the pasture. Okay, I will do that. But you see here, like, more, more things are now not just completely puzzling to me anymore. Like, why is this happening? Uh, and now I, I am slightly able to solve more of my own problems. Not only in Dwarf Fortress, but in real life as well. But in real life as well. And we have one spot that's missing here. We'll do um, B and F. And there we go. It'll be limestone blocks. Cool. All right. So this doesn't look... I mean, it doesn't really look that good, but it doesn't look as bad as it did before. But it's not as iconically horrible, which is quite sad. Another thing we're going to go ahead and do is just, um, I've gotten very sidetracked every here and there. But again, this is just going to be a lot of random stuff we need to do. We want to make this bridge three wide because we really don't want the trade depot out here. I think I'm going to deconstruct this trade depot. And they should gather the things up from that. I'm just thinking... Hopefully they should be able to do this the right way. We're going to deconstruct this uh, bridge. Uh, will I horribly regret this? I might, I, but they should have enough materials inside the fort to do this. And are they going to deconstruct while somebody's on top of it? Let's see if someone dies. No, no one died. It's always interesting when a dwarf sacrifices his or her life for science science you know um delete the stockpile build the floor then place the stockpile over it yeah that's what it seems like which i'm just like ah oh, why do we have to do all that well we do oh we have even yet one more space that i missed 
I don't want that to bother it. Well, there is one there. I think I'm just going to intentionally leave that one there to bother you for the rest of the series. There we are. Good. This one been constructed. The zoom construction. Maybe we should have to allow this too. I don't know why that got disallowed. One second. I need to go to this thing. Allow. What is not allowed? Oh, is the floor itself forbidden? I have no idea how this happened. Can we just try all of this again? Now everything in there is allowed. Okay. BNF. That was like a cursed floor tile. I don't know what happened there even. Um, yes, fear of that floor. Something. <laughs> it's a smelling floor. Oh no, another dead water buffalo. <laughs> we have all these dead water buffalo. Anyway, we'll do B and... Um, is, that, is it under machines? Or is it under, again, constructions? Uh, bridge, there we go. Okay, we might as well do this out of limestone blocks too. Just keep it even. Oh, that's so royal and good looking. Wow, very nice, very nice. I think they should have enough limestone blocks, right? So they're delivering the materials to that. And then, what is that? Giant bat head skin. Head skin? So what about the rest? Like, do we have the wings somewhere? I guess this was something that was up for trade. <laughs> Look at all of the ch fine cheeses. Are these from other traders? We didn't even bring some of these things in. Oh, whatever. We'll be rebuilding the trade depot over here. I should go back to that. Yeah, just so that they had room to come in with this thing. And I think I might end up doing it. Oh, that is made of wood. Never mind. Whatever. Ignore that. Um, we'll do the trade depot over here. Mm, let's just do everything out of limestone. Probably not a very good construction material here, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm not feeling very creative right now. And we do have a lot of limestone, and it's quite hard and good. Hmm. Resume construction. Why have you not continued? I would like to get back out to the outer world at some point. We have the, out we have the limestone blocks. So can you find them? In Limestone Bridge. Okay. Are you working on this? Oh, she's constructing it, it eh, from outside. From without, if you will. Uh, oh, that's such a different shade of limestone block. That's bizarre. Oh, well. As I think many of the dwarves were trapped outside. Ah, and they are bringing in all of the stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Look at them streaming about like ants. Okay, so other things that we wanted to do. We said we wanted to make the three-wide bridge for traders. We dammed the... We've done quite a lot now. It looks more organized than it did before. It certainly didn't look good before. Uh, the next thing I think we want to do is start to smelt some iron and make some tools. And then... Uh, uh, oh, I was also told to do one other thing here that I may have missed. Someone had left this in a YouTube comment. I was just looking over some ideas. Uh, so the tavern, we actually are not fully taking advantage of all the quality here. We need to make this much larger because it should include the walls. Because then that's going to have the advantage of the walls, of course. And maybe over here. So that's a full tavern now. I guess we should get doors around here. Somebody had also suggested that we put doors in in case if the fort should ever flood. I don't know what you're talking about because the fort has, of course, never flooded. Not even once. Um, jokes. Um, what would be good with this, though? Let's do willow. I think we have some willow. Yeah, the fort has flooded a lot. Um, and this may actually save us because we did learn that, uh, doors are kind of watertight in this game. And although it's not a floodgate, I wouldn't really put floodgates all over the fort just because I think it would look a little odd. Um, I might, I might do that to some of the other ones too. Okay, there we go. Willow doors again. So we got to check on our other zones. So we did designate the walls in this room, but in the hospital, we accidentally didn't designate the walls, which it doesn't include that quality. So that's nice. Um, it's kind of a funny thing because you don't really designate rooms in like a room world, for example, but in Dwarf Fortress, you do designate like, well, should it include the walls? Should it not include the walls? And so on and so forth. I think these ones do. They just put some people's bodies in there. We're clearly doing a lot wrong here, but you know, I'm not going to worry. I'm still not really on to Dwarven 
happiness and needs yet. I feel like there's just so much to still keep learning about this game that I'm just, I'm not even really there yet. I think that this was the show link buildings. Okay, I believe that this was the uh, drawbridge lever. We had put this in by our tavern just so they would be able to get it from where they hang out. Good. Uh, we do want to have that linked as well. What is this here? Just a bag of coal? Dimple dye. All right, whatever. Okay, so we've done that. So we've expanded the zone of the walls. Um, making wood and... So oh, yes, and wood blocks too. That was another thing that I was told to do. That was a very good idea. Apparently, these are useful in some types of... Actually, I should do block. Yeah. Wooden blocks. Apparently, they're useful in some constructions but now that i'm not really fully clear on why they're useful but enough people were like yes you should do that and i was like okay but apparently they can't be used in certain types of furniture so kind of conserve your resources or something like that i don't know take what i'm saying with a grain of salt but yeah i'm gonna make some more wood blocks um yeah learning never pretty much learning never ends jack says will i be doing more cities skylines it's definitely um, trader wagons. Oh, the trader. Oh, the trader wagons. Uh, I thought we were going to talk about wheelbarrows. We do have a good number of wheelbarrows, but clearly not enough. Um, are we running lower on drinks too? We might want to think about that as time goes on. Well, uh, either here nor there. Um, so I said I wanted to do cage traps at entrances. We could do that, or we could just let monsters keep invading us. I think that would be a little bit more interesting right now. Nah, that actually, we'll, we'll, let, let's do it right. Let's do it right. Um, cage. Oh, yeah, we need a cage, and then we need, like, a, a button linked to it, right? Um, we could do wooden Time cages. So let's do a lot of those. Ah, yes, ah. Thank you very much. Missing Canadian. That is a rather ominous name. Like, what caused you to be missing? Why Canadian? Thank you very much for the sub, though. Um, mm, have we put a roof over the building? Oh, yeah, we've also not put a roof over this. We probably don't want rain getting in there. I mean, rain would have killed us long ago if rain was going to do anything. There is just a fish out in the middle of the floor. Um... I'm thinking let's go ahead. We've got the cage traps. We'll designate those a little bit later on. Oh, we want to do a little bit more stockpile organization. And then after that, we will start going down deeper. Um, or we'll start looking for, I believe it's hematite that we need for iron. Yeah, because most of these things just need iron bars. Interrupted by a giant rat. Uh, there must have been a huge rat that I just missed here. Has grown attached to a bronze shield. Okay, that's quite funny. Uh, again, ignore... Yeah, there are, like, animal fights going on. Uh, I'm fighting a troglodyte. Yeah, we found a troglodyte. Where is the troglodyte, though? But these are also some of the people who came in for the sake of hunting monsters, because these are humans, and we're in charge of the dwarves. Oh my god, he died. They've... There's a whole lot of troglodytes. I think we'll just honestly continue letting this happen because I think it's interesting and I, I wanted to see when will our fort just buckle under the size of its own weight. Um, we've got more of this happening. Let's go ahead and just request more metal bars. More iron iron bars, yeah. Give us iron bars. And But in the meantime, let's go ahead. I'm not really so concerned with trading. We've already done a bit of trading and I don't really want to become so reliant on it right now. I prefer to just learn to make my own stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to seek out Hematite down, uh, I was going to say downstairs. And I've really not done this yet. So we're going to just be surveying some of the walls as we go. Sandy loam wall. So we're kind of on the more like soil part of the world. But here we get limestone. And correct me if I'm wrong, isn't limestone like a... Uh, isn't that a metamorphic rock? So that should really know if this is how deep it is into the earth but I mean that's something that's formed through like uh, hardening of lava this isn't se I wonder if we would find hematite as more of a sedimentary type of thing that would be closer to the surface presumably like in the hills and whatnot um, 
uh, I'm, I've never done any mining in real life. I guess I'm thinking of Minecraft here that just makes me think we'll find it deeper below the surface. Although we do have exposed limestone on the, pretty much on the surface. Limestone is quite hard. Is limestone metamorphic? Lime, wait, is limestone soft or is it, but it is a very good foundation. Maybe that's the reason why I say it. Like New York City, the reason why they can build all the skyscraper, skyscrapers there is because it, I believe it has a limestone. Um, unless if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't it have limestone? We have calcite here, and there's just an amazing number of these things. We have jet, um, deep red color in the walls. Thank you, thank you very much for that. So yeah, we're looking for hematite, um, kaolinite. I'm wondering uh, that mag magnetite and hematite. So that's what we're looking for. I'm wondering if there's really a decent way of surveying. But now I really feel like we're playing Dwarf Fortress if we're um, looking into, like, what's in the walls. I suppose a decent way to do this would just be to strip mine down below. Um, just to kind of get exposure to as many rocks as we could. Um, limonite. Limonite. Oh, this is limonite. Okay, so we have some limonite right here. And we also have a lot of it on the ground. So we may actually be able to smelt some of this into iron right now, right? So if we do M mine, just get out a little bit more of that limonite. Um, we do have that. Let's also go check on our stocks, and we'll just look up um, rocks, 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 stones. I believe it's under rocks. No? Nope, it's not. Uh, is it under stones? It is under stones. Okay, very well. Uh, what just happened there? Oh, no, it went out into the designation screen when I did that. Let's pause for a second. Stocks. Stocks. Rocks. Oh, no, it was under stone. <laughs> I stand corrected again. Uh, okay, please don't... There we go. Le we have 25 limonite. Do we have any hematite? We do have one hematite. And we have... What was the third one? Limonite, hematite, and magnetite. Well, we do have a little bit of it. Okay, so if we wanted to smelt these things down, so what do we do? I assume that this is like, now we have the raw ore. Um, so what do we do next? We go to our wood furnace. I'm just going to take a moment here with chat because I really don't know too much about smelting and I want to learn a little bit. After a brief interlude, we have figured out how to make the iron bars. So I was thinking we would just get make iron bars as the order, but we actually had to do the smelt order. So we go into our work orders and we say smelt, uh, which I was not expecting. Uh, the music is picking up with like the the gloriousness. There we go. Smell. No, don't smell the bars. Smell them. Or smell the ores, which you kind of need to know which ores it is. And the three ores that we're using right here are um, hematite, limonite, and I believe I put one up. I didn't really need to, but I did it anyway. Magnetite. Or what is it? Magnetite? Am I saying it wrong? Let me just double check. No, it is magnetite. I thought it was magnemite. Which I guess is where the Pokemon name comes from, right? Um. Oh, wait a second. If we... Wait, uh... Hang on a second here. Coke. Coke from bituminous coal. Do we have... Oh, lignite can do that as well? So this is basically just taking... Like, coal from underneath the ground so that we don't have to start burning, you know, wood to get the... Okay, there we go. So, bituminous coal. Let's go ahead and allow that. Um, and then let's just check on our stocks to see if we have any bituminous coal. Uh, would that be under stones? Whoops, here we go. Coal. We do have, uh, 35 bituminous coal, so that is good. Phew. Okay, and this is all occurring in the workshop. So we are seeing a lot more activity out of our smelter. Before we were using a wood furnace, which we could use for charcoal if we needed that. So it's fine that we have that. But um, good. Smelter, smelter, smelter. Okay, so good. So now they're starting to make that. Are we getting as many iron bars? Or is those were cancellations from before, but we were getting massive numbers of cancellations because we just didn't have any of these iron bars. I'm going to just continue ignoring most of the things, and then we might start to assess the everyone is dead, everyone is dead, but we have more people, so, you know, they're having a great time, I guess. Um, despite all this activity. <laughs> ah. 
Um, coal can be turned into coke, which we're using steel production. Okay, so that will help in the steel production because I've been told that we want to be using steel for pretty much everything, which does make sense. Like, steel is a far better material in real life. Like, that's what you would be using. We wouldn't be making picks out of rock. And I, I think I just made that up. Yeah, rock picks. But, I mean... <laughs> you know, rock picks, of course. Just... <laughs> Eh, it works eventually. A wood pick. This isn't this isn't Minecraft, children. Um, here we are. Anyway, moving along now. Moving along. It looks like we need more space for furniture. Let's just expand the stockpile. It's not really going to be a very good-looking stockpile, but... Well, I mean, it is a learning series. Learning how to make it look good but you kind of got to know what you're doing in order to make it look good so i do apologize for everything being kind of all over the place in this okay so they should start to move things out of there i guess we could make a stockpile for mechanisms as well this is this has been bothering me for a while i want i want things to look a certain way you know so we could say uh you know this is also going to help us see what we've actually got in our stores hmm Furniture we've already kind of got. Stone we've got. Let's see our armor and weapon. Oh, whoops. Eh, we'll just do weapons over here. See what we're, see what we've got our hands on. That might also st uh, store picks in it, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Core quality, stone, metal, trap components, unusable, usable weapons. Unuse would it be under unusable weapons? Or is it just under pick? Yeah, picks. There it is. And our axes. Well, they're considered battle axes, I believe. I think they just take battle axes with them. To <laughs> I use a battle axe to cut down a tree. <laughs> Be very careful. Have I played oxygen? Not included. Yes, but it's been a long time. Would I recommend this from ki coming from Kenshi? If you enjoy Kenshi, you probably... It's probably a big overlap of people who would enjoy both games. I can't guarantee it. If you enjoyed Kenshi and RimWorld, you might you would probably enjoy this. You need a, uh, you'd need a good bit of patience. Captain J Douglas J. Falcon. Thank you very much for the prime. All right, so that's actually quite a lot done. Um, let's make sure that we've got some steel bars. We've given them some time to work on this. We've got pl we have so much food. How do we have this much food? Um, this would be under bars, really. Man, so much scrolling. I will say that having a mouse that can switch between the free scroll and like the, um, like the, what is the word for it? The discrete, like click, click, click scrolling. Like the one I use is the, what is it? G502 Hero. This is, I got it for like 30 bucks at Black Friday and this is the best mouse. It's so good. I like it. Um, uh, I don't know, just an amazing, an amazing 30 to, I, I love it when I get a bargain like that, you know what I mean? $30 for a mouse? A very good mouse at that. Okay, 11 iron bars, and we've got steel bars now, do we have, and we do have some pig iron bars, so these are like, like, did a pig get on the, why do they call it pig iron? I don't, I don't know a lot about metal, to be said, like, which I didn't ever really need to know a lot about metal to get by, but why do they call it pig iron? Is, is it like impure iron? Okay, okay, fair. Like dirt, like dirty, like pigs, like pig pigs make it <laughs> crude like a pig. Okay, all right, fair. I don't think that pigs are so bad, but you know, um, whatever. If that's if that's the nomenclature, fair. Um up with pigs steel bars here and we've got iron bars here so now we've got all these steel bars but have we been making the picks that we need so now that we're getting up to the tools that we were trying to get to um weapons so let's see our picks we wanted more picks so that more dwarves could oh <gasps> there are so many iron picks because we asked for them that's very nice now we could do some crazy stuff Ooh. um if i do O, and then i do uh, you know, stop making these picks of iron because just it wasn't as useful. Don't forge iron picks. Let's make steel picks. So let's make pick. Steel picks. Now we have tools made from even better... I was going to say tools. Tools made from even better tools. Yes, of course. Um, pick your pick from these picks. Ah, uh, Pick your nose while you're at it. 
Oh, well, no. Why are they putting rocks in there? Rocks are not furniture. What moron is putting kale? Kaolinite? Doesn't that sound like a Digimon or something? Kaolinite. Or a character from, like... What is that? Maybe, like, someone from Naruto or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm saying. The beauty of this now, though, the beauty of it is that we can get everyone to become a miner. So let's do something horrible and uncalled for. Uh, let's go. Um, okay, say I want to do something ridiculous like this. We have a lot of dead people, and we should probably make more tombs. Or, well, we have a lot of alive people, too, to be fair. So let's, let's focus on the positive. Not, not to be all negative about death or anything like that, but at the same time, let's go over to labor menu. And we have miners. Let's just say, um, I wish I could just click everybody mines. Let's just say everybody's a miner. Everybody's mining. Everybody's mining. Because, uh, you know, I mean, it will be kind of specialized. Everybody pick up a pick and get to picking, you know. Pick your favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So many pick jokes. There we are. Good. I don't, I don't care what you do. Everyone is is mining. So will they all get picks and will they all start doing this? And let's just make an ungodly number of orders. I'm sure to regret this later on. But, you know, while we are just in this area of testing out stupid things, let's just set out some massive, impossible to finish mining project. And really, it should be the amount of surface area that's going to limit us here. Let's do uh, this. We'll make your bedrooms. At this point, there's going to be so much, and I'm talking about forts with thousands of dwarves. This is where macros would have come in really handy in Legacy. Whoops, but because we have a, a GUI here, um, a graphical user interface. Um, yes, I'm just, I'm that smart. I understand computer things. Um, I understand everything about the computer. I'm playing on the computer, guys. Here we are. Good three by three. Just do something like this. Oh my gosh, look at how many dwarves are showing up with their picks also. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at them, they're working so fast. Oh my god, look at all of this. We've wanted to do this since the very beginning. Hang on, I'm going to pause and then do it again so that when we get back up to it, it's overwhelmingly exciting. Yes, look at all of the movement and activity. Oh my gosh, look at all of their different colored clothing and stuff. Now, another thing I'm going to go ahead and say is that we can start to get dwarves into, like, uniforms and stuff like this so that it shows up who's in what squad and all of that nice stuff. Um, man, this is such a large project, and they're making it seemingly trivial. <sighs> and think it's all because of the vast majesty of the computer. That is so big. Ah, I know that, like, this isn't anything amazing. We're not trying out any new water flow technique or anything like that. But you gotta say that it's kind of cool. And I know that my bedrooms are kind of messed up the way that I've built them. To just be able to build this much stuff at once. And it feels so... I really don't know anything about the optimization of this game. But it's because it's so lightweight and there's no animations in that regard. Um, like, that we can have such massive... Oh my god, I'm crying. No, actually, I'm just getting kind of stuffed up because I've been, uh, I've been, I've been sick, but I am better now. Don't worry, I'm not contagious. You won't catch it from watching the stream. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and smooth boy out everything else. Let's just do an obnoxious amount of smoothing here because we have like 82 dwarves or 82 people in our fort and nothing to do with them. Everyone gets their own bedroom and you get one and you get one. Here we are. Good enough. Um, I know that that's not 82, but I just wanted to get out more work orders. This is the beauty of this game, though, is that when you really know what you're doing, you can order these massive projects that are really, like, visually exciting, despite the fact that this game has, you know, not really any visuals, so to speak. Although I think that just the, the grand scope of the game is what makes it exciting. Um, that and what we might want to start to do here, since we're going to be ordering larger and larger building product, products, projects, uh, is that we could start to 
Tell our dwarves to make more of the same things at a time. I didn't realize that we had quite this many door uh, doors. I'm learning that I can't say doors and dwarves in one sentence. Hey, Nalram Noxity. Thanks very much for coming out. I used to use macros, but it looked like the game was doing things randomly when I play the macro. Um, macros work. At this point, I might even consider making a few of them. We did these back in the other series where we recorded our own macros with Control R. Uh, I can't get it to come up right now while it's saving, but if you hit Control R, you can start recording a macro. And you can't do it with keyboard and mouse. Like, it doesn't work like auto hotkey if you've ever used this software. There's a couple of things in my video editing workflow I use auto hotkey for. And it's a really amazing software because it can just cause your mouse to automatically go off on its own. But if I hit Control R, I will record. Um, and if I unclick it, I do that. And if I hit Control P, then it plays it. I didn't actually record a macro, so it doesn't play play up there. But it will do stuff like for if you were to mine out a specific pattern. But it controls your, like, it controls through keyboard. It can't really control mouse. Though I wonder if someone would make a mod to do that, though. Now, that seems like a really worthwhile mod, because that way you could have it do certain things. And I, I don't know. I mean, either way, it is already pretty useful, but just there's so much computing power and to be had in this game, and it's it's neat. Or, or any game that makes you think about how your computer is running in the background, I always just think is a good time. Uh, yeah. One thing that I'm just noticing is interesting, and there are slight mods for this. Like somebody had made a mod where you could slightly raise it so it looks 3D. Um, or so that these walls up here have a surface, rather than just looking directly down at stuff. And it just, it was this slight change with one mod that makes the game so much more immersive. One thing I was wondering about was... Like, the tavern floors just all have the same pattern of a dwarf's face on them. Think about, like, such slight minor variations in that could make it so much more beautiful. Um, but now it is kind of making me think of the early days of RimWorld, which I wasn't really around there for the very earliest days of RimWorld, because I kind of picked the game up in 2017. But, um, what was I going to say? Uh, because, because of how experienced I am with uh, all the games that I've been covering on my channel, of course. I've been playing it since I was in the womb. Um, yes. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to sound like that. But, uh, yeah, no, RimWorld is, um, meh. It's like, like early prototypes of the game. Game prototypes are very interesting. Okay, B, um, furniture, let's get more chests in here. Uh, are we doing the room structure like this? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Everyone just has, they look like, it looks like they took a dump in their room. It's not a dump though, it's, it's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock. Uh. Oh, and we had gone to two by, well, whatever, we have variation in bedroom. I kind of wanted to make some variation in, in bedrooms, though. Uh, did you notice that, yeah, the standing polar bear has been in my fort for quite a while. Okay, who is hunting us again? Uh, Dakos Nakazakigal. Uh, yeah, we do need to make him happy. Where is this? Okay, uh, memorial slab. Yeah, engrave a memorial to that man. He deserves it. Unlike the other dwarves that we forgot about. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so let's just kind of take stock of everything that we've got in our fort right now. I feel like we did everything on my list. So now we're making iron and making tools. I guess, um, well, even before we do that, before we take greater stock of everything in the fort, let's go ahead and make some cage traps. Uh, have we? Well, we've made the cage traps, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we should also start to make actual weapons, and then we'll have a real military, which we have not had any real military training, and we've been getting attacked by birds at random intervals. So that is not too good. Um, but let's go ahead and do um, cage traps. Did I Was I going to make a button for the floor? I forget how to make one. I might need to just place one and then see what happens. Yeah, I wanted to put something like this at the entrance to our like cage traps by our cavern, wasn't it? We got his way to zoom down there. Yeah, this place looks awful. Uh, so let's go ahead and do uh, B. Um, and then we will do cages and restraints. 
Mm, I want to say that it was here. Traps, there it was. Yeah, pressure plates and cages worked quite well for us. Uh, cage traps capture intruders and cages must be loaded with a cage. So I believe we did a pressure plate. Need trigger type. Um, wait a minute, is this... Uh, I've got to figure this out again. Hang on a second. It's been a minute since I last did this. Start with the cage. Oh, yes, here it was, the cage. And then we need to arm the cage with a cage, of course. We'll put this at the cutoff points. That way, hopefully, any animal that comes through here. They could also come diagonally there. Good. That way, they either need to come through there, there, or there. And then we need to put a cage on the cage. So... Uh, how do we put a cage on a cage again? Yeah, we need to arm it. So B, tra is it under traps? Oh, wait, no, you're there. Good, so that has been loaded with a cage. Yeah, so there is the cage. And this is, I, the way that I interpret this graphic is it's like a, like a pressure plate on the floor and then the cage comes out somehow. I don't really know. Yeah, there they go. Okay, somebody asked about cleaning. So this is a dwarf who's cleaning the vomit and probably the blood. Yes, the blood also. Now, will the dwarves capture themselves on this? We'll find out. Um, yes, Nick, Nick Cage just comes out whenever you hit the cage trap and just yells at you. <laughs> That's the trap. And then you go, oh my gosh, wow. I, let me just get myself into this uh, cage. And then uh, you're done. Then that's... <laughs> Nick Cage. Uh, you make me laugh. Um, Stray Alpaca is probably dead if it's been missing for a week. I'm just enjoying ignoring some of these orders. Uh, but some of them now I do want to start to address a little bit more, like some of the combat stuff. I think you could do. Okay, we've still got Dakos, so we've probably made that memorial slab to Dakos. Let's just handle some of these things. Okay, but now we are starting to get to the point where we're addressing some of these um, things. We're getting a little bit better at the game. A little bit. Bit by bit. Step by step. Um, let's do ahead. Uh, do ahead. Um, select material after placement. We always want to click on this just so that we can make sure that we don't just put a random slab. I think that's a random slab there. Oh, did they make it out of clay stone? Here it is. Yeah, just so you can make sure that it's the guy's actual memorial. Because this is a memorial to no one. We can get rid of this. Uh, this one was a waste. Though this one is to... Nil... Oh, yeah, we remember him. He was, he died... Well, it was a stupid way that he died, so... Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. He's gone now. He's gone now. So we can stop worrying about Dakos, because he's uh, got his thing built. And we should get a message that he's been put to rest, I believe. Hunting, hunting, hunting. People are going crazy. We will address those unhappy dwarves if we get a second, but... Um, before we do that, I want to think more about... Item inaccessible. I want to handle some of these things, too. Um, now I'm actually able to parse through more of the information in this game. This is good. Um... Why are you unhappy? Usually the people that are unhappy are just crazy. Hang on a second. Wrong one. Here we go. If I do magnifying glass on you... Okay, there we go. Now we could follow you. Um, hungry and dehydrated. Is it because you're going crazy, though? Uneasy. Um, we can just see his mental state and his thoughts. Labor. No, not that. Um, skills. Modest quarters. No study. Uh, oh, we can even snap to his room. That's quite good. Oh, we could even... Could we create them a tomb before they die? So that, like, you will have a place to go when you die. Is that a thing? He does appear to have... Uh, does he have any clothes on? He doesn't appear to have any clothes on. I think he's just gone stark, stark raving mad. Health, he's just dehydrated. Acquire abject, drink alcohol, be extravagant, be with family. Well, he's... I mean, he's already crazy, so let's just... Let him go. Just let him go. Uh, yeah, it really is the nobles. Um, I mean, I know that we're egregiously ignoring a lot of things that are important, but hey, our dwarven population continues to go on. More than that, I just kind of want to 
Uh, well, we do have plump helmets. We have plenty of plump helmets, right? Yeah, just a million plump helmets that we've got down here. Yep, good. We haven't even designated these. I will say plump helmets all around. Let's have them. I don't even think we have enough room for some of these things now. Um, here and here. Fortunately, this is a year-round crop that we just keep using. Well, I, I think we've more or less mastered some of the plump helmets. And on top of that, you know, you really can't learn them just one time in this game. you got to make the mistake over and over again and forget how to do it and then do it again and redo it and so on and so forth. Because that's really how you learn these types of games. It took me so long to learn RimWorld. Stairs next to each other causes FPS loss. Really? Stairs next to each other. Hmm. FPS loss. Really notice that for my own, but if you say so. Thank you. Um, hmm. Farming the hell. Yeah, there we are. Because we've got this. We've got the trading. Everyone's dehydrated. Everyone's dehydrated. We should probably make more tombs. But before we make more tombs, let's go ahead and make more weapons. Because... Uh, this seems important. Drinks are kind of hovering around the same place, and I also want to give my dwarves more stuff to do. So let's go ahead and make this zone even bigger again. For the gathering of plants. Just because they don't really have much else to do right here. And they might as well focus on feeding and themselves and getting drinks. So more of our dwarves are going upstairs. Uh, up to the top. And they're gathering. Or are they? Maybe they were just in the stockpiles. Whatever they were doing. We're also running out of space to store this stuff, too. So we really need a more dedicated stockpile. Man, I'm, I'm beginning to notice that you really need to plan a fort for the thousands and thousands of dwarves when we're finished. What are the biggest forts? Is it like 2,000 forts? Or dwarves in a big fort? Is that a large one? Like a large Rimworld colony is maybe 10 or 20 colonists. But a dwarf fortress, it seems to go into the... 200 is default max size. Oh, really? Is it only that many? Wow, I would have thought that it could have gone up to the thousands. Maybe someday. 250? Maybe 2,000. Well, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, there's quite a lot going on, and it runs very fast. Whew. Anyway. Let's go ahead into this, and let's make some more weapons. Now, what we really want to do when we haven't done it all is to train our dwarves. Uh, we had somebody as a manager before, and we had to deassign them from this. But let's go ahead and pick dwarves who are uh, who have a little bit more free time, because this is a really poor excuse for a barracks. Um, we'll go V, and we'll go G, and we're going to start to... Well, let's make it look nice for them, since they're going to be spending a lot of time in here. And we could also make their barracks someplace that they sleep. So I had just done something very primitive. Oh my gosh, that's very nice when they all come in. It's like they're pouring in like water. Ah, that's nice. Um, excuse me, I just bumped my mic. Hey, the Red Wife, thank you very much for the 17 months. Remember you well, Red Wife. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do some... Hmm... Let's do some more mining here. Let's have this look oddly, like, symmetrical, but not really that amazing. It doesn't look that great, but whatever. It, it's functional. Um, we'll mine out here. And remember, practically everyone in this fort is a miner. Well, they're adults, but, uh, <laughs> get it. Um, do that. Good, now they're really getting all of the surface area of that. And I'm just going to do a horrible experiment over here because I want to know what will happen. So let's go deep underground. And I've not had a massive cave in yet, but I'd like to see if I can just kill like 40 or 50 of my dwarves. So let's just do this. I think I would like to know if that causes issues. This is gonna be so interesting. Won't this be interesting? Hang on a second. We're going to save just a moment before this happens. Um, because uh, uh, weird... Uh, uh, well, cave in. And if it does happen, I'm not going to stop anyway. But I want to see, like, how it occurs, you know? How does a cave in occur? Because I know how it occurs in RimWorld. Will they just all die immediately? Because I might need to reload this. But also, it should be very much fun to watch. So I think we should do that right now. This is why I made everyone into a miner, guys. Come on. Now, what other ores are they finding in here? Sylvite. He oh, there is hematite down here. So they'll be able to make more. Well, they won't be able to make more. But this is what it looks like. That's hematite. Okay, that's good to know. Rock salt. Ah, oh, yes, that does make sense with, like, the red of the... 
Oh, that's so cool. It's like a virus or something spreading out. Or like, have you ever put food coloring it into milk? And then you put in, what is it, like vegetable oil? Or what is it that you have to do? When we were kids, my mom would give us this when we were bored and we had nothing to do just because it was so interesting to watch. And then it like swirls around in the, it's dishwasher detergent, I think. Um, and then the food coloring like spreads out and it's very cool. And then it just turns gray in the end. So, and it's not as much fun after that. But yes, this was what we would do for fun as children. And, and it was a joy. Hematite and sylvite and rock salt. Here we go. Okay, when will it cave in though? Or are they dying and we're just not noticing it? No? Okay. Well, I wanted, I wanted to know, didn't I? The, f the fisher dwarf was killed by the fish. Oh, we'd better... I should create a... You know what's occurring to me is that there's just so many places I want to zoom to. It must be a sign that I'm getting better at the game. I don't know. I'm surprised that it still hasn't caved in yet. How, what will be the first thing that we see when there is a cave in? It's going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. Cave-ins only happen if there's no connection anywhere. So there isn't a cave-in? Oh, really? And then mine out the same space above and below, then channel out the edges to cave-in. Okay, okay. So this actually won't cause a cave-in. That's amazing. So, well, then I can mine in much more bizarre and crazy ways if I want to. All right, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, yeah, I was just thinking, like, wouldn't this... There would be no support here. But it's sort of like a big underground cavern. Okay, fair. Fair enough. I was hoping that there would be more destruction, but, you know, at, at least we know now. Although we can cause the cave-in of those overhangs. Like, if we were to mine out beneath this hill and then we cut off the connection... Um, Maybe we'll do that, just for fun, just to see what it looks like. Um, what are we? We're on the ground level right here. So let's go ahead and just maybe, like, have this section cave in. I, w I would like to see what that looks like, because I have not done it so far. Um, let's go ahead. Well, we'll mine out here. Let's mine out, like, this section. We'll mine out that section. And then we'll go down here, and we will... Uh, what's MU? There we go. And we'll channel... Let's channel, like, there... And we'll channel there. And we'll ch and now I'm sounding more like Bob Ross. The happy little channel. There we are. There we go. That was a that was my Bob Ross. Wasn't that an amazing Bob Ross impression? Can everyone just congratulate me for how good a Bob Ross impression that was? Oh, because they all have picks. They can all do the channeling, and then it happens even faster, and that's nice. Ah, ah. Okay, this is the sinister music of something about to go wrong. You know, why aren't they unable to do this? Do it. There we go. M-U. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to dig underneath this hill. And, well, now I will really save because something bad is about to happen. M. Mm, right, now we've got a channel. Okay, we are about to channel over there. Good. The channel has been dug. So now we have a nice squarish looking thing. Um, we're going to save uh, cave in experiment two. If a lot of people die when I'm do uh, like one, it would actually be interesting to see what happens. Like, what do we do if a dwarf falls in? Or, I mean, gets covered in a mound of dirt and we can't get to his corpse. I'm guessing that we have to get a memorial gravestone or something. We could probably dig it up, though. I can't believe that I hadn't even thought of this, though. Okay, now we'll just M out all of this. Probably take out a lot of people here, honestly. Or maybe they'll just take damage. Only one real way to find out, though. Oh, no, you know what? They're... Well, it is still connected here. Let's see if it falls in. Like, will it fall in from the dirt? I don't know. I'm just so curious as to what will happen here. Um, okay, two brave souls will go down there. This is like the last person who has to go in Jenga. Um, okay, so it's technically still connected by the roots. That's interesting. 
that's grass that's growing on the downward slope. What we've got here, right here is a connection on this hill. So let's channel out this. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was just these four squares that are connected. So this is still a connection. What happens if I do that? Yeah, if you want to experience the same sensations that you did as a child while playing Jenga, play giant Jenga as an adult. You know. Oh my god! <laughs> Are we... Ex <laughs> Someone's dead. Badly crushed. It, what was odd was that, you know, I really didn't expect that death. Ushrir, who didn't really capitalize the U in their name. Likot Logan. Uh, dead, badly crushed. Not only crushed a little bit, but yeah, that, there it was. And what was surprising about that death, aside from the fact that we... Well, I, I don't, I don't want to say what I was about to say, but... Um, man, my dwarf, these dwarves have really been through a lot for me. Should I reload the save? No, we'll, just, we'll go with it. We don't want to create so many alternate realities. Um, that dwarf was above the cave-in, unless if they had fallen in, but they weren't standing right on top of it. Yeah, I don't think that they you should bury someone who was crushed. I feel like that's kind of adding insult to injury. You know, like a burial at sea would be far more uh, honorable, honorable and dignified. Um, all right, well, it it is what it is. It is what it is. I feel like I'm getting a slight FPS. Am I getting a slight FPS loss? I can't really ever tell. Um, oh no, but we do have the FPS log. Never mind. Ugh. So much going on at once. Anyway, the next thing that I want to do is um, make the weapons. So that was the last thing that I said I was going to do. We need an actual military. And then let's have them go out and, I don't know, declare war on someone. After all of that we've been through, I think it's time to just do something reckless and, and violent to the other dwarves in this world, right? Oh, what was that sound? Was that the arrival of spring? That sounds like something subterranean, though, to me. Ooh, cave spider silk cloth. That's a masterpiece. No available traction. Uh, yeah. Somebody needs to be placed in traction. Oh, yeah, we never finished off our hospital. Ah, how could I have been such an idiot and forgotten that? Um, uh, traction bench. There we go. And I do believe we need a... Yeah, we need to make one out of... Yeah, let's say here we go. Go to workshop and traction... Traction bench. We needed one of those. Uh, we'll make. We don't need ten of them. We could make, say, three. So we have a couple lying around. If we have a lot of people that need traction in our hospitals, and then we we also will need a table, though I believe, right? Don't, don't we need a table? I don't remember if. They, uh, am I mistaken in this? I believe they need a table and a traction bench if they gotta, you know, like, put a limb back into place or something, right? Hmm. No surgery. Oh, Rar was just done? Oh, heck yeah. Nice guy, Rar. You know, the funny thing about the cave is that one of the methods you know how to mine through the... Ah, uh, oh, we haven't had the aquifer layer yet, though. Oh, table for surgery. So we'll put the table between these two. You know, like a multi-purpose table. <laughs> it could be used for traction. <laughs> Remember that thing they used to advertise on TV where it was like... You can put it under the couch, so you don't ever have to get out of the couch. <laughs> because you've been stuck there. Oh, yes, you have. You can't get up off the couch. And when you buy one of these things, you'll stay on the couch even more. You might never leave the couch again. And that's the way it's going to be. It's pretty real with the table. Uh, D. Don Don Eve, thank you very much for the prime. I've decided to just slip in a, it's free real estate as often as I can throughout these streams. Just when no one suspects it. All right, everyone's dying. You were just crushed. You were dehydrated. You were... Oh, good. Uh, the other guy was happy with the gravestone that we gave him. It's fantastic. Giving birth to puppies. All right, um, military. Let's do it. So we've got... 
Uh, well, we'll make an order. Let's go ahead and see what kinds of weapons we could make. I don't really know too much about what are the best weapons. I've been told... I mean, I, I know what we're supposed to be doing with crossbows and bolts, and I think we've got plenty of those. Let's go ahead and check on our stocks. Let's make sure we have the archery covered. Yeah, plenty of uh, bolts here. So that's good. Uh, and this is a very cool thing to watch happen when they train. Let's go over to the Boyer's Workshop. How many um, crossbows do we have as well? Let's go down to our weapons. I believe it'll be under weapons. Uh, do we have crossbows? A whip. Oh my gosh, what is this? Castlevania? Good, we have plenty of crossbows here. Uh, wow, that's a... Holy cow, that's a lot of crossbows and many iron picks. I'm getting a RuneScape vibe already. Uh, was it runes? I guess RuneScape would have been... It would have been around the time that Dwarf Fortress was made. I remember when I was in third grade and kids were playing RuneScape. And, like, they gave us time to play games at the end of... Um, there was a school I would go to where the computer teacher would basically just be on the computer. And we just did all... Like, kids were on addicting games at the end of it. It was great. It was just such a great way. And, like... <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it was. It was just a great opportunity because we didn't have Internet Explorer at my house. We had AOL. Um, and our computer couldn't run it because my mom had a Mac. And I can't remember what it was, but we couldn't get those games to run because I don't think it could run Flash or something like that. Um, either that or she didn't want us playing games, so she just never installed the software. I, I don't remember. She used it for work. But anyway, um, man, that was such a throwback. What was I even saying? That was how I learned about all those good old games. Ah, good memories. I got a little bit lost there. Anyway, uh, let's go make some more weapons. So we've got, um, hmm, P. Hmm, cool, yes, cool math games as well. <laughs> we've got O. Let's go ahead and make some melee weapons here. Oh, so we, we did want to go into the, where will they be making? I'm assuming the Metalsmith's Forge instrument piece, siege equipment, armor, weapons, and ammunition. So let's kind of see what our options are of steel. Pick, mace, crossbow, bolts, uh, battle axe. Battle axe would be doubly useful for cutting down trees. Short sword or spear or hammer. War hammer, that is. Um, I wonder which one is really most effective. I'm guessing short sword is just a pretty basic thing, although we want training weapons for them too. Uh, do we have training weapons getting made? And here's where the search function would be useful because I don't want to double up this order. I don't believe we even did make these. So training... Yeah, training axe, training swords, and training spears, so they don't all hurt each other. Although that would be another way to train them. Or we could train them to be wrestlers. Um, training swords, and let's make sure that we have available less than 10. Let's up that a little bit, let's make it like 20. Okay. Um, training, I guess they just use regular crossbows. There mustn't be no such thing as a training crossbow. Let's just make them all of the training weapons, because why not? Uh, maybe not quite as many, though. That's okay. Excuse me, training axe, and then training spear. There we are. Good. Okay, so now we have all of the all of the things that we need for training. And this is just so that they don't kill each other in combat, hopefully. Um, silver Warhammer, Steel Battle Axe, Steel Swords, Steel Spears. Ooh, Silver Warhammer... I guess that, you know, let's have everyone have battle axes, because that seems like a dwarven weapon, right? Yeah. Battle axe. Adamantine. I imagine some of these things are far better materials, but steel just seems... Well, I assume that steel is pretty reliable. And let's make a lot of steel battle axes. Um, like... Mm, 40. I don't know. We, I mean, we've got 80 dwarves here, so we might as well get a lot of people ready. Have a lot lying around. We're going to be getting more dwarves, too. All right, is our manager managing? Uh, we actually need to reassign some of these offices, too. We have a mayor? County? What is a county? I don't even know some of these things. I don't remember. Oh, this must be because we've come off of being an expedition, and now they've formed this into, like, a civilization. Am I mistaken in saying this? I've not actually gotten this far. Dungeon Master? Oh, we won't go there yet. No, we don't No, we don't need one of those. Uh, we need a Militia Captain again. Nish. You have that job. You don't have other jobs too, do you? Let's have another Militia Captain as well. Nish already is doing it. Uh, oh, we could have a human. Well, this isn't Human Fortress. This is Dwarf Fortress, of course. You can do it. You have no skills whatsoever, so just do it. Oh, wait a second. No, I now I accidentally have two. 
I don't know how to unassign or deassign. Hmm. Hmm. How do I deassign? Leave vacant. Okay, that's how we get them. Never mind. Um. Hmm. Is there a high pitch ring? Is there a high pitch ring in the background? Let me know if you hear it. I, I try to listen back to my streams on multiple systems. You got it? Was it a thing? Oh no, do I have a high pitch ringing? Occasionally it happens with my mic. Uh, if it does, I will, let me just write that down. High pitch ringing. This happened to me on a very like big video on my channel that there was just a humming noise in the background, but it could only be heard on certain frequencies of TV. Since then I've fixed it, but it, it's, it made me into like a, a pure audiophile for years. Um, someone who's kind of like obsessed with sound because it, it, learning to record audio is a pain. Man, look at all of this rock down here. That's so nice. You can even kind of see where it was sitting in the stone walls. Um, is it now? Maybe it's the sound. I don't really have any way of back testing it, so if it is there, I'm just going to have to live with the ringing in the VOD. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I will check it out. Okay, it just stopped. Very good. Uh, otherwise, we'll just have a high-pitched ringing, but then I'll fix it for the next one. Anyway, um, okay, let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to finish off our military area. So we'll go B, and then P, and then R, so that we can get those rooms in. And just keep using the closest material there. There it is. Mm, B, M. There we go, that. Okay, cool. So now we do Z, and good, we've got the walls covered in these. Uh, and then I think we'll make our archery range this entire area. And we want to make sure that we smooth out this area because we forgot to do this when we had to rebuild the wall, and it was a pain. So, ooh, look at them all flooding in again. That's nice. Um, we will go down and we will M, so that way they can use one channel for these two things. And we'll do it kind of like that. So now this is a channel so that they can get the bolts. Um, why are these not allowed? Did I not allow them to... There is a menu in the game, and I have to have to remember where this thing is so that you can tell them not to pick up bolts. But we kind of want them to pick up the bolts. Go Z. Archery range here. We're going to do another archery range in here. Accept. And tell them to fire that way. Good. And then we'll, we'll start to make the squads in a second. But we'll do Z. Barracks. And here. Accept. Cool. And then we'll make this uh, squad in a minute. But let's carve faces into it first we want it to look very good except uh not these squares we don't need to do these ones because we're going to channel that out um actually they could carve that from oddly enough they could ca carve that from the other side i suppose because they share a side so that's fine so we can just start channeling here okay so they're channeling through down to the bottom and if i did this right then we should get another channel here like another hollow point Yep, it looks like I did it right, more or less. And we might as well smooth this out as well. Uh, uh, whoops. Nope, not that. V. M. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I'm really smoothing everything. It just, I want it all to look a certain way again. Okay, uh, and that does kind of show us where the top and the bottom is. <laughs> Love it. I wish there were a little bit more darkness to see that, but good enough. Uh, detailed claystone wall. So we've got all of that. Let's go ahead and make some more archery range targets. So we've got this under military and archery target. And we might as well do, let's do like another three. We might even make these things larger in the end. Hey, Jaybird, thanks very much for coming out. Hmm, jobs and standing orders. Labor screen is standing order. Uh, yeah, maybe it's under the, is it under the labor screen? So then we go back into the labors and standing orders. Ah, uh, yes, here it was. So this is useful for hauling automatically, uh, using cloth, automatically. The thing about picking up, I believe it's here, yes. Um, forbid used ammunition, claim your death items. Forbid used ammunition during sieges, I think we want it. Claim used ammunition. So yeah, we want it during sieges. So when enemies are attacking us, we don't want dwarves wandering out into the fray like, 
like some guy tries to shoot another guy with a uh, crossbow. Oh, missed. Let me go over there and pick it up. Like, wouldn't that be such an uh, outstandingly smart thing to do in the middle of a siege? No, we want them to pick up their ammunition during training because we want them to do that, but not during sieges, obviously. So let's go ahead. We'll do that. Um, and this, well, this will make sense in a second. We did this in our last series, but let's go ahead and we'll do archery because archery is very fun to watch. Um, captain squad, uh, militia captain squad, captain of the guard squad. I don't really know what's the difference between these. Okay, Nish, looks like you've got this. Nish, you're gonna be an archer. Uh, they're all gonna be archers and let's go ahead and just uh, arrange this squad. So we'll just put random people in here for now. Uh, no relevant skills, you'll work fine. Uh, no relevant skills, I'm not even really going to look into this. Uh, animal trainer, I don't care about that. Uh, the mayor, uh, what is he mayoring? Book binder, we don't have any books. Uh, side position six. Uh, fish clean, uh, we do have fish to clean. Gem cutter, we don't really have anything for that. Um, <laughs> just wonder. This is like the draft. What do you do? We don't have any glazing, what is that, glass? Glazing it just isn't just glass, is it? It's a variety of things. Um, I had a friend who was in a glazing union. Planter, wood, burn it. We do do that. Threshing. Won't be doing any of that anymore. Uh, boyer, uh, cook, uh, brewer, uh, whatever. I mean, we've got eight people. That's plenty. Okay, so let's have all of them. And we can go ahead and change around their equipment and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and schedule these people. Let's just tell them the cobalt steals... I, we just want them to constantly train. Let's just say that. Just so that we can make sure everything is going right as we expect. Now, they will, like, eat and feed themselves. Don't worry so much about that. At least I think they will. <laughs> but we still need to assign them to this room. So these are the Cobalt Steels. And we could give them a different name if we want. Uh, the Cobalt Steels will train here. And so now if they are training constantly, we should, unless if I messed something up, they should start to come down the stairs and start to do their training. Um... Of course, they need to finish up whatever orders they were just doing. It looks like they've all got their gear now. So, let's have a look and see what they're up to. Um, if not, then we're just going to have to manually assign them to train. Let's check on Nish and Sazir, or Zuntir, because we could alphabetically get to Zuntir pretty quickly. Just give them a second. You, Zuntir. I just like to do this, like, put out an order and then check on what my dwarves are doing to see if I did it right. Zuntir, Zuntir. Oh, you happen to be the last alphabetically. Okay, so he's socializing. I'm actually alright with that because they do need some time to just kind of handle their own personal needs, and it does sometimes take a little while. Surviving the Abyss. Is that a new game? I have not heard of that. Write it down. Um, let me see what else, though. Okay, so it does look like they're starting to go over there. Um, that was a few of the squad members, right? And let me just zoom to the location. There we go, six. Okay, did they go? Hmm, no, they still don't seem to be going there. Uh, have we missed anything? They are firing in the right direction. We've got that. The Cobalt Steels are assigned to train there. Um, not really anything else we have to do here. Hmm. Uh, there shouldn't... Well, unless if they, the arrows, once they bounce off the wall and then go down to the ground. So, uh, the, I, I got this idea for this construction from Das Tactic, uh, where they can go down beneath and then pick up the bolts that have fallen to the ground. So, no dwarf will ever be in the line of another one's fire. So I don't think you have to worry, but maybe you have to. I'm not honestly sure. Um, yeah, so they are coming around, but why are they not... Hang on a second, I gotta figure out why they're not training. We've finally got one of our squadrons ready, and this is very nice. This is very nice because we've got the polar bear and some of the humans in the squad. Which the polar bear has just sort of been standing around. Uh, Bukit Canalis, the polar bear woman, hammer man. That's a mouthful. Uh, is 45 years old and a thrill seeker. Okay, so then this is probably the, the right person for a squad. Um, high kinesthetic sense. Now, uh, they'll begin training in melee. We haven't really... 
We've got some kind of work order conflict going on between the number of quivers, people claiming the quivers, people claiming bolts, hunters claiming bolts, and I'm not honestly ready to get to the bottom of this. This might take me a while to figure out, so we might just wait on archery for a bit. But I've ordered a lot of things so that they just have a copious number of all of the supplies. And then they'll do that. This is the way that they train, though, and... Well, what items do you have on you? Did you bring the... Tr no, you brought a steel battle axe with you to training. Um, hmm. <laughs> this is like, uh, many very distasteful, uh, examples come to mind. But, uh, you can bring your own, bring your own to mind for, for that. Anyway, we, we've set them to embark on concentrating. Ooh, I don't know why that happened. I guess because of all my orders. I must have done something right. Now, this is the other range squad if i'm not mistaken this is the lucky mirrors i want to say yes there they go okay one thing that might also be happening is that the other squad might not be training because they simply don't have enough room to train let me go ahead and just double check that i'm not sure if i'm i thought that would be a trivial thing but we've got eight people here and we've got only three targets uh i mean it's possible I, i'd like to figure it out so let's just make this room way bigger um and then maybe we'll make the other one bigger but yeah as you can see uh they train down there and then they shoot their bolts hopefully at the targets and if they don't they just innocuously pass onto the wall hit the wall and then go down into the ditch over here and that's uh, a very nice efficient way of getting this to work i think um why is no one mining anymore we have 101 dwarves it feels as though they should be doing this something feels horribly awry Hang on a second. What is everyone doing? We're all up here in the tavern, hanging out with the ducks, oh, which we probably should put those into the pasture in the top. Uh, oh, that's miasma. Why is there miasma? So far, we haven't had any miasma. <laughs> Something must have died at the butcher's shop that I... Well, now you get to see miasma. This is very well known in the Dwarf Fortress community. It's terrifying when it happens in classic version. But in this one, it does just sort of look like a mist of, of purple stuff. Hmm. Ew. Sheesh. Oh, we should probably do chests as well. Yeah, chests would be good in the barracks. I don't know. I, I'm feeling, uh... Hmm. I'm just kind of curious. Why are they not doing this at all? It's because I've assigned so many people to... No. Yeah, it could it could be that uh, we have to go revise our entire stockpiles. Anyway, I am actually, and I know that this VOD is going to be very short, uh, or at least in comparison to the other ones, but I've just been learning more about the game and practicing stuff. Uh, but I am feeling like I've kind of hit my saturation point with the game, so I'm probably going to call it a day there.